From Tampa Bay streaming news leader, this is ABC Action News. I'm Dee O'Reilly. Keep your umbrella handy this afternoon because it looks like you're going to need it. Greg D will have a full look at your forecast coming up. But first, though, I want to get to your ABC Action News headlines. Major changes are taking effect today for Pasco County School Meal Program. All students who attend class on campus will now get free lunch regardless of your financial situation. In addition to that, students in virtual learning will still be able to receive free school meals on a drive through basis. Tampa continues to rebound today. Athletic fields, art galleries, and splash pads are going to reopen all across the city. City officials say visitors are required to follow social distancing guidelines. They're also urged to keep some hand sanitizer with you. Groups of more than 50 are not allowed. We need to remind you that flu season, of course, is just around the corner, and this year the flu combined with the coronavirus pandemic could overwhelm hospitals. Medical experts are urging you to get a flu shot. The flu kills thousands every year. The flu shot is recommended for everyone ages six months and older. We anticipate that there will be some people coming up who have both COVID and influenza at the same time, which would be very devastating, obviously, and increase the risk of death from one or both of them. In addition to the flu vaccine, wearing masks and social distancing will also help reduce the spread of flu. Right now, parts of Louisiana are under mandatory evacuation orders as that state gets ready for Tropical Storm Sally. This storm could make landfall as a hurricane just weeks after Hurricane Laura hit. Some people still don't have power after that storm. Others lost their homes. State leaders say everyone there needs to get prepared. You cannot say, I'm tired of this. I don't want to do it. We all live in, in a dangerous area for storms. This is the height of our season. We need to do whatever it takes to deal with the storm and the threat in front of us. Both Louisiana and Mississippi declared a state of emergency for Sally. I want to check in now with Greg D for a look at this storm and also its impact here in the Bay Area. Greg? And luckily, Dia, that storm is not impacting the same area of Louisiana hit by, D, uh, by Laura as that could have been a really serious issue. It's going to be farther to the east, closer to Alabama and Mississippi and the Florida Panhandle. So we'll be watching for those folks. We're getting some of the fringe effects of the storm here, and that means cloudy skies today, temperatures in the 80s. In fact, I think we'll stay pretty much overcast near the coast. There could be some hazy sunshine east of I-75. There will be some light rain around Tampa through at least the middle of the afternoon. For those of you that get some sun this afternoon, farther inland, Thunderstorms are past possible this afternoon and evening, and some of those could be strong to severe. If they do turn severe, you'll always get a push alert update in the free ABC Action News app. Dia. All right, thank you, Greg. Today, PDQ is celebrating the opening of its newest location near USF by offering free food. If you visit that new location on East Fowler Avenue, you'll get a scratch-off card for a free menu item on your next visit. PDQ is also raising money today for the Bullard Family Foundation, which helps local kids and families. You can round up your bill or just stop by to donate. Well, thank you again for watching ABC Action News. You can get all of your news free 24 hours a day on our streaming news channel. All you have to do is download the ABC Action News app on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, or Apple TV.